Um, wow, <laughs> Ellie, I have, I have a, I do have a question. How do you say? Here we go again. Hi guys. Who are you talking to? My audience. <laughs> Duh. Um, how do you say what it is that you're drinking? Oh, juice. Yeah, but what's the brand? Um, a very well-known brand. <laughs> what's it called? Caprizen. Caprizun. Capri Sun. Caprizun. Okay, Kaepernick. Um, well, uh, wow. So it's been a while since we did this. Yeah, it's been, what, three months? Yeah, it's been about three months. Yeah, so this is cool. Um, for people who don't know, this is my girlfriend, Ellie. She is from Venezuela, and she's been in America for three years. Three years, yeah. Great. And we have been together for almost a year. Yeah. Nice. That's it? So, yeah, that's it. That's all you have to say? <laughs> no. All you have to say is nice and you whisper it like you're in fucking pain. <laughs> and you're also blinking your eyes, giving people code that you need help. Who are you radio signaling right now? Why help. is this funny to you? Help. <laughs> no, we, we're we having a great time. We're having a great time. They don't believe you. <laughs> okay? They don't believe you with the way you're saying it. You, 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 you I mean, I know you're happy. Yeah, yeah. But Everybody out of nowhere. Knows happy. But when the cameras are on, <laughs> all of a sudden. Sorry, I get performance anxiety. Do you really? Yeah, I do all the time. I mean, I fake it really well. Like, especially like, you know, when I'm doing my thing, when I'm with like patients. Oh, okay. Because you said you fake it. And I'm just like. No, even now, like I just, I get nervous when I have to like talk to people. You know, it's so interesting because you're so outgoing, you're so charismatic, and it's so yeah. effortless. I think maybe, like, even though you feel that feeling, like you feel that feeling of like that performance anxiety, mm -hmm. you really the only one that knows is you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, like I usually. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too weird to have a serious conversation and then you take a and sip. Then, of and then I'd be like, <laughs> making eye contact. <laughs> Ellie's like this. Yeah, so we have to do a full extraction. We have to do a full extraction. <laughs> you know, I've had patients ask me if um, I have enough experience. Like, how many times have you done this? Because they usually think I'm around like 18 or 20. You're not? <laughs> uh, I'm around that. Yeah, mentally, maybe. Yeah, you're not. But... Um... <laughs> No, you're like 12. But look. Cállate. <laughs> Cállate means shut up. Wow. He has improved so much. I have. You I've... grow so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Grande. When I got him, I'm, I'm speaking as if you are a dog. When I got him, he didn't even know how to say hello in Spanish. Now he knows how to say hello. Mom, dad, girlfriend, beautiful. The best girlfriend in the world. You're the best. Amazing. Yeah. yeah put down the gun. <laughs> put, put down the knife. Yeah. So. Um, he you're... actually asked that to his English professor and he thought it was real. And he's like, oh, wow, Paul, she is so violent. And Paul was like, it was a joke. Yeah. I have a, uh, I was studying with this guy named Luis at a Spanish school. And then he's also Venezuelan. He's like, oh, man, uh, you're Venezuelan. Uh, you know, your girlfriend's Venezuelan. That's so cool, man. I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's How... that's Francisco Ramos. It's not Francisco. That's Francisco. It's not. Francisco talks with way more tongue. He's like, eh. <laughs> eh. eh. Um, so wait, you, you, you said I'm like your dog. Let me ask you something. No, uh, no, no, no. I said when I got you... <laughs> You didn't even know how to say hi in Spanish, and now you know so many things. Okay, now we do have footage <laughs> of you saying, I'm like a dog. No, no, no. I, I said, I was speaking as if you were a dog because I said, when I got him, he didn't know how to say hi in uh, Spanish. But and no, dogs know. talk? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You're not getting it, but okay, whatever. Wait, so if I'm, if I'm, if I'm young like a dog and now I know how to speak, 
No, that's not the whole point. Okay. The whole point is I said when I got him as if I got you like in a rescue, like in a shelter as a rescue dog. Like, so as you got me like a rescue dog, uh -huh. then what? Then I train you to speak Spanish. <laughs> and now he's fully trained. Ellie, do dogs bark in Spanish? Oh yeah, we're we're gonna talk about that. Um, so the other day, uh, we were talking about animals, and I said, "Oh, and then I was playing with this little dog, and he was so cute, and then he was barking. He was like, whoa, 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 and then like, he stopped for a minute, and then you're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, dogs in Spanish they bark like, whoa, whoa. Okay. It's whoa, whoa. I got to be honest. like That's the official sound. But the way you talk and the way you said that the dog talked are almost the same. You're like, yeah, dogs talk like this. Wow. <laughs> no, That's literally what you just said. <laughs> no. You just said that. <laughs> you, you said, yeah, I know a dog. And the dog's just like, whoa. Well, no, no. In Like in any um, Spanish-speaking country, if you ask them, what, what, what does a dog sound like? They're going to be like, whoa, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. That's a sound. Just whoa. Like, oh. it, what's the sound in English? Well, it depends. So a, okay. Depends on what? It's just a sound. I know. I'm, I'm going to answer it, but I noticed that you already rolled your eyes at me. Because I know I'm right. <laughs> I know, but we're just having a conversation okay. about what dogs. Okay, he wants to say dog, dogs bark like rough. Rough, rough. Uh, they don't make that sound. Okay, so a small dog would sound like this. And what, and what does that sound like? Rough. Whoa. Whoa. Rough. <laughs> that's like, whoa. Rough. No, that's not rough. No, it's rough. Dogs sound like rough. And, and, and if you, every dog is rough, rough, rough in America. But you're saying dogs are saying, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's not wow. It's like, whoa, whoa. So how, do you, how would you spell that? G U A U. Whoa. Like G <laughs> U A U. Yeah, like wow. an animals be they they be they be doing that. Like they they be having different like sounds and different animals languages. Animals be doing that. What do you mean animals be doing Spanish that? Spanish dogs be doing that. I'm G U. Sorry. Okay, so wow, 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 wow. Okay, so wow is W O W. No. That's whoa. Ah, ayude me por favor. Ay, Dios mío. Okay, so um, what other? So what sound does a cow make in Spanish? Mu. Mu. M u u u u u u u u u. Okay, that's pretty close. Yeah. That's pretty close because our, our Amer cows. Yeah, Americans say it's m. Um, Oh oh oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's fine. It's about the same. No, that's Mo. And Mo, it's Mo Amor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> no, as a person. Mo is a name. Yeah, Mo, Mo is a name. But Mo, when you add more O's. That's it's... ooh, it's you. M-U-U-U-U-U-U-U. Okay. You get my point, right? No. No, but... he doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. Well, what sound You guys is... see what I have to deal with every day? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did I do? I just said cows say moo. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, what about goats? What do goats sound like in Spanish? Me. Me. What about... Okay. What about sheep? No, but it depends on the goat. W what about a sheep? What do sheep sound like? If it's like the regular goat, it's me. If it's like the goat goat, it's me. Okay, that was the cheesiest thing. La queso. <laughs> no, we don't. That's another thing. We don't use that word to say like cheesy. It's just like food, but we don't say it like that. Like if someone's cheesy, you just say cállate. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, Ay, cállate la boca. What? No, cállate la boca. Cállate la boca? No, like shut your mouth. Okay. Um, great. Well, I got to be honest. Are, are you cold right now? Yeah, a little. You're a little cold? Do you it's wanna, winter in LA. Do you want a so jacket or something? That means it's like on the 60s and I'm freezing because my body is South American. 
So are you are, are you freezing right now? No, 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 I'm not freezing. Okay. Anymore. Well, I'm learning a lot about uh, uh, Spanish nuances. Well, I'm learning a lot about Venezuelan women, and like you know, you're probably used to hot weather. Mm-hmm. And so, basically, Ellie is like a thermometer. Like I know how cold it is outside based on how much she's shivering. So like if let's say we're walking and then Ellie's like this. <laughs> it's like around the 60s. No, it's around like 90. <laughs> 90. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to I'm, I'm used to um, above 100. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what sound does a horse make in Spanish? I don't know how to make that sound. All right. Because in America, horses sound like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't spell that song. Huh? It's the same. Yeah, it's the same in Spanish. It's the same. Exactly the same. I actually changed my Wi Fi password yeah. to all lowercase. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this? Um what well, else? Cats. Well, what sound does a so what sound does a cat make in Spanish? Meow. Oh, like, that's meow. Meow. M I A U. Meow. Okay, so we spell it M E O W. That's meow. <laughs> it's meow. But that's the same. No. According to spelling, it's not the same. But I'm talking about sounds. Well, yeah, I mean, of course, it's the same. So, I'm, I'm, I guess this is equivalent to like translating the same sound to Spanish and English. It is. No, but like as an example, ha 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 ha. Oh, That's for funny. sure, J A J A J A. The Which people is think what? it's ja 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 ja. Wait. Ha ha ha. What do they think it is? Ja 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 ja. I always like I always laugh with like J A J A J A because that's like a real laugh, right? Like if it comes from me and I'm like responding your text, and if it's funny, I'll be like J A J A J A. People are like, why oh do you type Ja Ja Ja? I'm like, I don't know. How does it sound again? How do Americans? Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> I just make them like the Joker. <laughs> jo, 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 jo. Okay, it's well, just the way it is. okay, it's fine. So uh, we're learning a lot about animals. Mm. Um, what sound does a pig make in Spanish? Oink, oink, oink. What? Oink, like oink, oink. Oink. Yeah, kind of right. O i n. I would say. Well, okay, K, K, maybe like oink, oink. <laughs> is it oink? <laughs> no, is... oh, I would so... say it's oink, oink, oink. Okay, but how would you spell that? Please don't drink a Capri Sun. <laughs> what o- the hell? I am. Bro, I feel like if you're like a C, like you're gonna be a CEO of your own like dental mm-hmm. practice, your own like ten practices, and I feel like you're gonna have like a swivel chair and you're just gonna turn around and be like. And I'll be like, and then you're gonna look at someone and be like, oink, oink. <laughs> All right, oh, let's oh. get into it. Well, we're gonna talk about brands, right? I know, Today. but we we are into it. <laughs> this is it. We're into well, it. We're I- in it right now. <laughs> Oh, we're going to spend a whole time just like talking about animals. Well, listen, we have a lot of time, right? So I'm just like, I, I just want to see any other animal sounds that are in Spanish. No, I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Well, let me just say this also. First and foremost, uh, you look great. Thank you. You look, um, okay, calm the fuck down. Please. Amazing. <laughs> okay, chill out. I, I don't I don't know what the hell. I'm like, you look great. And then all of a sudden, it's. Uh... Sorry, what? <laughs> can, can I ask you something? Um, when, like when you were single, is one of the things that you would look for in a partner is that they are a good photographer? A hundred percent. Like it would be super frustrating, like, you know, spending all this time trying to figure out like what outfit am I going to wear? You know, all that blah, 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 blah. That the guy doesn't even know how to take a picture. It's a waste of outfit, you know? 
It's a waste of an outfit. Yeah. So you would break up with someone if they were bad at photos? No, I, I never said that. But it's a good quality to have, which you have. You have that quality. You're a great photographer. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's what I told my friend. He goes, how long have you been in a relationship? I was like, uh, 10 months. And he goes, oh, so. Uh, he has it? been in a 10-month photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. <laughs> She's all out of Capri Sun. She's all out of Capri Sun. She's all out of the Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. Paul's impersonations of me are the best. Why you see? What? Stupid. <laughs> That's so me. <laughs> you hold your hands like this? Mm -hmm. Hilarious. What, what, so, what's your impression of me? I'm just curious. No, I'm not good at impressions. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Way to shut it down so hard. Because, like, all you're going to do, you do is you're going to make fun of me if I make an impression that's inaccurate. No, but you do impressions of me all the time. Well, that's exactly what you do. You're like, oh, my God, babe. So, like, what happened? And I'm like, why, like, all this? Okay, so am I some sort of, like, okay. fashion? Yeah. You see, you're doing it again. Sebastian Minascalco. Me? Yeah. I'm Sebastian. I'm Sebastian. You're telling me I'm a guy who's gonna talk with my hands? He does that all the like time. Like an accordion? Oh, and then he claps all the time. This is my favorite part. I'm like, I'm like, babe, so like, you know, I have this issue and I have this issue and I don't know what to do. And he's like, okay, babe, game plan. This is what we're gonna do. And I'm like, who claps in the middle of a problem? <laughs> Okay, let me tell you something. If anyone claps before they say their idea, it's usually a horrible idea. <laughs> okay. There like you if go. they're like, all right, look, here's the thing. <laughs> he does that all the time. I do? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Well, I'm learning a lot about myself, which is great. So um, I do want to send you some uh, words. Here we go again. Yeah. Uh, we are going again. Um, so essentially, these are words that I think, uh, but I want you to just wait, 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 wait. But, but before you look at them, <laughs> I already saw them. All right. I'm just going to tell you the first word. Just say what the first word is. And then the next is say, how does how do Spanish speakers say it? Okay. So Ellie, can you tell me what the first word is? Starbucks. Okay. Can you, uh, I'm going to ask you again. Just say like a little bit more clearly. Because I th also, uh, you have to talk a little closer, I think. Because right now you're like, <laughs> my mom does that. I'm like, when, Ellie, what's the first word? You're like, <laughs> my mom does that. When someone asks her anything, she's like, hey, uh, how are you? She's like, something. And I'm like, what? Something. Because she gets super self conscious of like how she says the words. So she doesn't. You know, she doesn't want to be, like, loud enough so people wouldn't, like, pick on her. Right. Totally. Yeah. I, yeah. I get it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. my, my – um, I'm like that with Spanish. Yeah. Like – But we're going to pick on you anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what's the first word? <laughs> you piece of – What? What did you say? Okay, the first word is Starbucks. Okay, and how do Spanish speakers say it? Starbucks. <laughs> I've heard that so many times before. Starbucks. Starbucks. Anything that starts with S, it's usually S. Ah. Mm -hmm. So how would you say starbursts? Starbursts. <laughs> What the hell? Are you a deflated tire? I can do words that end in T and S, like starbursts. <laughs> starbursts. But why are you making so many extra? Because you just said it. Say it again. Starbursts. Yeah. He did it twice. Starbursts. I'm just trying to copy your pronunciation. Okay. Starbursts. Starbursts. <laughs> Wait, are you still saying it? 
<laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> next. Next word. Okay. So, uh, Ellie, what's the next word? YouTube. And how do Spanish speakers say it? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Is that true? Yeah. Absolutely. No, no, no. You do. No, because I heard your dad say it well, once. It's it's like it's more like you do, you do. No, because one time your dad, uh, like he was sitting down, he goes, he goes, pole, eh, play, eh, you too? My dad doesn't speak you any too? English, and Paul doesn't speak much Spanish. Yeah, yeah. But they have been doing a good job communicating with, um, you know, sign language. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Ellie's dad doesn't speak English and I don't really speak Spanish well, so we just communicate with sounds and gestures. Oh, the first time, oh my God, when they met, it was freaking hilarious. It was the Super Bowl and Paul was like, hey, I really want to meet your family and um, um, I think like we need to coordinate something like dinner or lunch, whatever, so I can, you know, like finally introduce myself and i'm like yeah i mean let's do it and then i was like hey by the way tonight is um super bowl and my family is going to be um doing like a small thing get together at my uncle's house do you want to come by and he's like oh okay yeah I yeah I, I was a little nervous to go because yeah. i never met her family and you know it's just i've never met parents of someone that i'm dating mm -hmm. that was my first time oh wow you know, and you're 34. Yes, I'm 34. Well, we also take Except. dating, you know, dating and relationships very seriously in, in both our cultures, you know, and it's like, well, yeah, but I would say like Latino culture, it's a little bit more open when it comes to that. Like it's a lot more open. actually. Yeah, like it's not it's not set for marriage. I would say like when someone is dating someone, it is serious if you take them to your house, but it doesn't mean automatically that you're gonna marry that person i would say in your culture it's more like if you bring someone home make sure it's your future yeah. wife or mm. husband yeah middle eastern culture they don't really believe in dating they're yeah. like what's this dating like i told like my mom and dad when they first met uh my mom and dad were at a party and then my dad's mom my grandma went up to my mom and was like you know this is my son he's single he's interested in getting married and they were married a short time after that oh my god and that's how it was there was like no like dating there's no like no yeah. you know so no my parents dated for a long time like they dated for i don't know eight years ten years oh. something like that that's gonna be like like eight weeks no no, no. So that's years. a long time middle eastern culture they no. were dating for eight weeks and he didn't ask for her hand <laughs> and it's different it's way different. Um, but yeah, anyways, you, you know how my parents met? They met at a party and my mom was dancing and my dad was just like staring like bored. And my mom was like dancing like, you know, the cha-cha-cha, whatever you guys call it. We call it el trencito, like the train. So you just grab someone and then you're like, do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom grabbed my dad and like pull him in and then, yeah. Wow. And someone introduced him at the end, but like... Wow, so was... your mom made the first move. That's what my dad says. I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, well, we would need like... to bring my mom to know the truth. Yeah, but it's also sort of like how we first met. You made the first move. Oh my God. Here we go again. No, no, I didn't. Wait, what's... Okay, what's your profession? You're a comedian. The, the whole point of like... Me liking a video, it's because it's entertaining. You're a comedian. It made me laugh. That was it. But he took it like way too far. So if you like someone's content at three in the morning. Well, do you think you I like... was a dentist and I was studying for the board? Because I was. No, you didn't. So like I was saying. <laughs> I you... was studying for the board. I would finish studying like at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. around. So if you like someone's content at three in the morning. And it's multiple videos. and then Because you... you're a comedian. They're all jokes. So if you like someone's content. 
Listen, it's okay, babe. Why are you so like ashamed of it? Like I'm not ashamed. Just be like, like, look, you like you thought I was cute. You even admit it. You thought I was cute. You thought I was attractive. But I didn't make a move. I just liked your videos. You made a move. You added me on I Instagram know, and then but, you messaged me. But you added me. Okay, you were hot. That's yeah. what you wanted to hear? No, it's not what I want to hear. He was hot, yes. And he was funny. Cool. And he had a beard. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Why? Why are you so <laughs> passive aggressive? He had a beard. Yeah. A what? A, a bird. Beard. <laughs> I don't know anymore. All right. Well, um, so uh, I was going to say this quick story about your dad. So, oh yeah. So he showed up at my uncle's house. Yeah. So so I showed up at her uh, uncle's house, but also her dad. Like he'll tell me stories. And like one time he was trying to tell me a story about how he went fishing, and then he caught a really big fish. Then he cooked it, and it was delicious. So he goes, Paul, I um. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I am. Um, <laughs> you know, I am the stove. <laughs> stove. I put, and I put it, but I put it. <laughs> and I knew exactly what he said. Yeah. Um. So what's the uh? So what's the third word? What's the third word? Uh, yeah. What's the third word? Facebook. And how do Spanish speakers say Facebook. it? Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. How do you say it? Facebook. Yeah, it sounds normal. Yeah, because I'm normal. Why are they saying it like, why are they saying that Spanish speakers Because say this is a way Facebook. like, no, because this is a way that aunties Facebook? say it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you want a Facebook? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, you know, YouTube, but... YouTube, Starbucks, all that. They, so they how would it? So let me ask you something. How would a Spanish speaker say, meet me at Starbucks, we'll watch YouTube and Facebook videos? You want me to say all that in Spanish? No, just say like how they would say, like, I'd like, like how would they say it with well, the English no, accent? No, we're going to Starbucks. And then... <laughs> no, but how would they say it in like, like... Oh, see so you at Starbucks. I'm going to watch a YouTube video. You we're th- going to post it on Facebook. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay. All right. And what's the uh, fourth word? McDonald's. And how do Spanish speak? Oh, even me. I say like the McDonald's. McDonald. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> That's a way. <laughs> That's a way to go. Ma- it, the food doesn't taste the same if you say McDonald's. You gotta say McDonald's. Ma- Ma- McDonald's. McDonald's. No, not the way you would say it. No, that's McDonald's. That's how Ronald McDonald says it. Yeah, yeah, that's not the way. The way is the way I say it. Ronald is wrong. Yeah, <laughs> the food doesn't taste the same if you say it like that. How does the name change the meat? Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. Don't. <laughs> all right, and what's the what's the last word? Netflix. Okay, just give me all right. So, and what's the last word? Netflix. And how do Spanish speakers say it? Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> Netflix? So many ways to say it. You can say Netflix. <laughs> Next. Netflix. 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 <laughs> Netflix. Nestle. Uh huh. Yeah. So like, many ways. Like your dad would be like, Paul, uh, you put it on a Nestle. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. You watch the Nestle's on YouTube? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, Well, yeah, those are some brands. So uh, do you have any words for me? Anything that. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to bring some awareness to like certain brands. Like, for example, <clears throat> Nike. So if someone is named Michael, how would you call the person? Michael. Short for Michael. Mike. Okay. Take the M out. Now put an N. Pronounce that. Nike. That's the way. Nike. That's the way the brand should be. And that's the way we call it. So Latinos don't say Nike. Wait, what's They say Nike. Because if the name is Mike and you guys pronounce Mike... (laughs) You guys pronounce Mike. Okay. Why what? would well, you? Well, wait, wait, hang on a second. Hang on a no, second. No, you're gonna let that go. No, hang on a second. No, I'm not letting go of anything. What just happened? <laughs> Whoa! What? You're, you're destroying the studio. Uh, 
Anyway. Some Capri Sun just shot out of your mouth. <laughs> you piece of <laughs> Why am I a piece of shit? Anyways, I was saying. How can you go back to Nike after this? <sighs> you see, you see what I have to deal with? <laughs> Baby. Sometimes it'd be your own people. <laughs> ha! What is <laughs> happening? Shut up. Stop hitting me. Anyways, going to the brand. <laughs> okay. How do you guys say it? Nike. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make any sense. And it confuses people. If you if you if you pronounce the name Mike as Mike, the brand should be Nike. Because the only difference is the first letter. It's not M, it's N. But why? The, the why brand it's is, gotta be like that. But the brand pronounces it that way. So you can do whatever you want, basically. If you establish your own rules. No, but why can't we just call it what the brand wants it to be called? Because that's what I'm saying. It's it's not according to what's grammatically correct. It's according to what they want us to say and pronounce. So they're wrong, Nike. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying it's not grammatically correct. Because if you read Mike as Mike, you can just pronounce Nike as Nike instead of Nike. I think I got a good point. I think you have a great point. Yeah. And I think we need to go to the Nike headquarters. <laughs> and ask them. And talk what to What do you want from me? What do you want from me and my people? Latinos want, you know, justice. Yeah, and I think they'll tell you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, um, next brand would be Adidas. 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 Yeah, what about Adidas? Well, it should be Adidas. Not, not Adidas. I don't get it. Adidas, das. No, no but, that's, das. but that's not how they spell it. That's the spelling. It's A D I D A S. Adidas. Adidas, yeah, Adidas. Well, wait, what's happening right now? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> wait, what did I do? It's Adidas. <laughs> You're not seeing the difference. Adidas and Adidas. 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 Yeah, D. How do you pronounce D? D A. Da. Yeah. Adidas. Yeah. Adidas. Adidas. Yeah. That's my point. I I like Adidas. 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 Oh, Adidas sounds so much cooler. Man, you think Kanye can change it? Adidas. No. No, I don't think so. All right. Well, I like Adidas. Adidas sounds cool as hell. You have any other brands for me or are you done with brands? Okay, Reebok. Is it Reebok? How do you guys pronounce the brand Reebok? Reebok. Did, are you asking me to read a book? No, the brand, Reebok. Reebok? Reebok's? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Reebok. Okay, Reebok. You see that? It's so complicated. Just be like Reebok. Re Latino say it, Reebok. Reebok. Uh -huh. Reebok. Yeah. Otorrino la lingologo. <laughs> Close, but not perfect. Otorrino la lingologo. Laring. Ra Otorrino la lingologo. No es la ling. It's laringologo. Otorrino la lingologo. Close, laringologo. Otorrino la lingo. Rebook. So, anyway. Well, now that I did that, mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to see, like, what other... Brands? Actually, can I have that Starburst over there? Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Can you open it for me? <laughs> oh, wow. So, um, we have this cool story about... Uh, Puerto Rico. I brought Paul to Puerto Rico because it's one of my favorite places on earth. And it's one of the few places in uh, the United States where I feel at home because I'm a refugee and I can't go back to Venezuela. And uh, Puerto Rico has a very similar vibe. And I, I just, I love it. Like he has great places, great food. Oh my God, great food. Great people. The, everybody's so nice and warm and like cool. And uh, they love to party. 
and I brought Paul to Puerto Rico, and it was a huge like cultural shock. Um, it wasn't a huge culture shock. <laughs> it I mean, was no, I knew, I knew what to expect. I mean, when I was in Puerto Rico, what I found funny <laughs> was um, like we walked into this bar. I can't remember what it was called, and then this dude just showed me a QR code. <laughs> and like i thought he was trying to give me a COVID test <laughs> no. and then and he then, was asking if you wanted to buy some like drugs yeah and i'm with like a QR code well it's it's you know it's practical i don't trust drugs <laughs> that i need to receive on a qr code those are that's probably gmo <laughs> gmo drugs i don't i don't like that mm -hmm. and then i don't know what he was doing and then he talked to you and then I needed you to translate that he was trying to buy me, sell me drugs. I know. I was like, no, 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 babe. No, no, you don't want that. You don't want that. He's what did like, he say? What was he saying? He's like, hey, are you looking for some? But he said it in Spanish. He's like, dijo como, hey, ¿quieres comprar? ¿Estás buscando para comprar algo? I mean, uh, uh, my, you know, Puerto Rican accent is not great. But he said something like, ¿quieres comprar, mommy? And I was like, no, thank you. Oh, he called you mommy. Okay, that's a normal thing in Puerto Rico. So it's not a big deal. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, because you're American. But like for Latin, like amongst Latinos, it's not a big deal. It's, it's not like they're automatically hitting on you. Like for Americans, if you call someone like papi or mommy, it would be like, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, like if I'm like, uh, you know, getting a, a coffee at Starbucks and the barista is like, what do you want, papi? No, it's different. We're in California. I would never <laughs> yeah. let you go to that Starbucks. What? That calls me poppy? Yeah, why? Why not? No, you're American. What if it's good coffee? <laughs> I don't care. Why not? Why? Are you... No, you can't get coffee from someone who calls you poppy. But babe, why are you depriving me of... No! Que no. <laughs> no, I said no. Um. Anyways, we were in Puerto Rico and like it was oh, yeah. so funny. Like all the cultural like differences like um they were doing a protest one day and we were <laughs> we were trying to find a place to grab brunch and then um there was a huge like inflatable rat and super loud yeah um, that was crazy salsa music playing in the back mm -hmm. and everybody was like dancing like dun, 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 dun. but it was a protest <laughs> and then paul was so shocked he's like what's going on and then the guy goes um you're better than me in well impersonations well <laughs> <laughs> please do it <laughs> well thank you for setting me up do your thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and then you're like and then now the silly part go cloud <laughs> go be like <laughs> all silly and shit. We all silly and shit. Then I'll be like, let go see. And then I'll be composed the whole time. <laughs> oh, look at your hands. You're doing the same thing I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, well uh, before I take. Uh, Baja los pies de la mesa. Mm -hmm. have, have manners. No, but this is like for that. No. Gracias. Good. You can. De nada. Go ahead. He hates it here. Help me. Help me. Uh, no, no, no. Um, uh, this table, like in American culture, like if you have a table, they want you to no put your put your no. legs up like this. No, no, we don't do that. We don't. No, Latinos. No, we don't. Baja los pies de la mesa. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> the owner. Mark, Mark, the podcast producer just looked at the me. The podcast was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" That's hilarious. Um, so, uh, yeah, we we're basically we we're walking through Puerto Rico, and um, I so we there's this huge, gigantic, thirty five foot inflatable rat, and it was thirty five <laughs> feet because I measured it with my eyes, <laughs> and I we this giant rat in front of this hotel, and it was the I can't remember the name of the hotel. Uh, the Vanderbilt, Va Vanderbilt Hotel. Yeah, the, the, the Vanderbilt Hotel. Yeah. And there was this huge van with uh, like 200 speakers <laughs> surrounding the entire van. It was like, a, I thought it was a garage sale. Yeah. And then they, and then this guy's blast. But it was like on a Friday. It was Friday and he's So blast. everybody was just like. Mm, 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 well, the mm, music mm, he was playing mm, was like. <laughs> it's like some really cool salsa music. It's called salsa. Yeah, I know that. Um, <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. Uh, 
Gracias. It's like it was playing like a music full of like culture and ethnicity. Is that... <laughs> When Americans experience culture. <laughs> What? I'm not... <laughs> It's called salsa. Go ahead. Yeah, they're 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 playing the salsa. They're playing yeah. salsa music. <laughs> okay. They're they're playing salsa music. And then, and then you hear this voice over this guy's like, attention, <laughs> the Vanderbilt Hotel is exploiting Puerto Rican workers. Please call this number and tell them to stop exploiting Puerto Rican workers. These are wages that are below the amount of money you give for the homeless. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and then so like, you know, but the, and then this thing was playing on repeat for the entire day yeah the whole day the whole but day but nobody was like listening to it because like the music was so loud paul was like what is this Because, but it was catchy people yeah, were dancing to the and protest also music. they were saying things in spanish so paul didn't pick that up and then he's like what are they saying and then he was like dancing too yeah i was dancing with it because it was catchy and like, i'm like babe no no it's a protest but everybody was dancing so we we're just like you know dancing and stuff look that was the and most... i told him like oh no it's because uh you know the, the american government it's like hiring like puerto ricans and and they're paying them very like under uh regular wage uh, no but but babe i understood all that i'm just saying like, like because i translated it no but they also said it in english he was saying it in english Oh, maybe he said it at some point, yeah. No, but you heard it in English. You don't remember him saying it in English? No. Was it in Spanish? He was saying it in oh, Spanish. Oh, it was bilingual. That, yeah, that's true. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and you saying, I forget? You so, saying, so the whole honey, point. Babe, you forgot your own story. <laughs> The whole thing was like, they were saying like, don't go to this hotel. They exploit Puerto Ricans. And then we didn't know what they were saying. So we were like, oh, okay, the music is catchy. So we were dancing the whole time and we ended up eating at the hotel. Yeah, yeah. We ended up accidentally eating at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we came out of the hotel and they looked at us like, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, they, they were not happy about that. And yeah. uh, especially the rat. Also, the giant type of rat was just like. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, I didn't realize how horny Puerto Rican men are. <laughs> That's so funny. This whole time I'm talking to a dude and I'm like, um, I want to order, uh, this mofongo with octopus and stuff. And I'm just like ordering the whole time in Spanish for me and Paul. And then he's like, but, but what is that? Well, the guy's getting turned on by no, every item that you're not. saying. He's not. They're very friendly. Like, we Latinos were super friendly. Okay. Oh, oh. So he was like, ah, babe, uh, what is that? And I'm like, okay, go and ask him. Because well, I'm not Puerto Rican. I, I don't want to, like, you know, explain something about a food that is not my own. But I know what what was it made of and stuff. So, I, I, But I, I told him, like, just go and talk to the guy. He's going to explain everything to you. So well, he went and he has a guy. Well, well, well babe. I want you to order the f order the mofongo and say the toppings, and I'm gonna show you what he was doing. Maybe you didn't see. He he goes, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> <That didn't laughs> he goes, what can I get you, mommy? Uh, anything you and want. And then I say, oh, me va a dar un mofongo de plátano. Plátano. <laughs> sí. Uh, y lo quiero con pulpo. Pulpo. <laughs> Le va a poner cebolla frita por arriba. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like that, but not not so. Simple. Yeah, bro. The guy was literally moving. He was moving his hips <laughs> as he was writing the order down. Yeah, we'd be like that. I don't know what's wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But then I'm just like, yo, this dude is like uh, into it. And then I was like, <laughs> and then it was my turn to order. And then I was like, hey, so what do you put in this mofongo? And he goes, oh, you want? Then I'm like, oh, then he. Then And then yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to, I thought he was trying to smash. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. Now, I'm like, yeah, so what do you put in the phone? He goes, oh, mira, mira. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it too. <laughs> uh -huh. He started off like that. So it was just like, I was just like, and then he. He was excited. We do that. It's like, bro. Es un plato que tiene plátano y pulpo. Y and then you get all excited and you're describing it. And then you're like, y tiene pulpo y le vas a poner limón. Yeah, but then he got lost and he goes, el pulpo, el pulpo. Exactly. Ah, 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 ah. No. He, <laughs> no. He did. He didn't do that. He did. That's Paul being Paul. No. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> no, that's Paul being Paul. That never happened. I don't know. I, I saw him uh, air lick. <laughs> By the way, let me tell you this. Mofongo 
is so good. Fire, fire. I love fire. mafungo. Fire. Uh, so I never... introduced Paul to Puerto Rican cuisine. Everything is deep fried. It's very good, but, you know, deep fried. And I was a little concerned because Paul's like very uh, conscious about what he eats and stuff. Yeah, so. I, I, yeah I, I just don't want to die. <laughs> and no, I think you're not enjoying life if you don't eat like that. No, I'll eat like that, but I'm not going to eat, you know, like I'll ask a question. I'll say, hey, do you deep fry your plantains in peanut oil? Nobody gives a fuck about that there. Yeah. They just yeah, I know. they just deep fried them. No, it's hilarious. I was like, hey, I was like, what kind of oil do you use to fry your plantains? And he goes, kind of oil. <laughs> yeah, that's like disrespectful. Just like eat the food. And- I know, but I was just like asking a question. And then, Dude, I got, I got shat on, man. That's I- very Californian. Like mm-hmm. asking about every single process and like how do you eat and like stuff. Yeah, see, see, see. That's Why don't the thing. do that? Like in Latino culture, you just get a plate and you're supposed to eat it. That's it. Yeah, exactly. End of the story. If you get sick, they're like, "Fuck it." Yeah, you fuck get it. sick. You're never gonna get sick, by the way. Oh well, that's never, the thing. Never. Because never. I've gotten sick several places mm. when I've went overseas. Cause, and the thing is, it's like, oh, I didn't ask, and then they're like, oh yeah, we actually uh, deep fry all our food in uh, garbage oil. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's why. <laughs> Anyways, everything was super deep fried, but it was great. It was like, oh, magnifique. So anyways, um, we ordered mofongo. We ordered alcapurrias. You loved alcapurrias. That was a, the, it looked like a cinnamon roll. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it was, oh my God. No, no, no. That, that's a piononos. Piononos. A plantain. Remember and the meat. Piononos. The one with the meat on top with the. Plantain, a piononos. Pionos? Piononos. Piononos. Alcapurria, it's the thing that was fried and it was stuffed with crab or like meat, remember? Oh <laughs> my loves- god. <laughs> he loves those. Oh. But what I love about going to a place that it's so hold on, uh, hang, hang authentic. On. Oh <laughs> my god. Hang on, baby. Hang on. Oh, he loves Puerto Rican food. Because oh. of me. Because of me. Attention, Puerto Rican <laughs> chefs. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> So, anyways, yeah. Acapulco is so amazing. Fire. Bro. I loved it, man. I just wish it's, those... it's similar to Venezuelan uh, deep fried empanadas. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, it's it's very similar. The only difference is that you have eaten the key, the cheese one, or the one with like black beans, caraota y queso, empanadas de caraota y queso, empanadas de queso. You have eaten those, but in Puerto Rico, you ate different ones. Different okay. like stuffings, remember? Yeah, yeah. N- now I do, but but well, I will. What what's going on? <laughs> you forgot empanadas, babe. You just disrespectful. forgot. Disrespectful. You just forgot. Disrespectful. You just forgot your own story. <laughs> literally two minutes ago. It doesn't matter. What? <laughs> anyway, this is not justice. You said you want justice. I want you to remember Venezuelan food. I do remember Venezuelan food. Yeah. You, you know what I'll, I'll also say is um, uh, we went out to eat with your cousin you haven't seen in a while uh-huh. and her husband. Yeah. And I remember... She wasn't my cousin, by the way. Okay, you're... Uh, just like, my, it's my cousin's friend, but just the short... Cousin's friend. The short term is always cousin. Oh, yeah, she's my cousin. Oh, yeah, yeah he's a cousin. We always do that. We okay. try to find family anywhere. Great. Well, now that we know her origin... <laughs> Yeah, so they they took us to a very Cousin, authentic food. Wait, but but what I will say is in Middle Eastern culture, if we see someone that's a friend, we often say this is my cousin. Yeah, we do that too. You know, and then some people will say, "Oh, how are you guys cousins? Like, how are you guys related?" And they're like, "Well, my neighbor when I was eight was friends with my grandma, and then their kids became friends, and then his dad is my godfather, and yeah. And then the person's just uh, like, so you're so not... So you're not related. And I'm like, no, but we are, because blah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, like, short story, we're not related at all. At all. Great, now that we... And we spent a whole night with them. Yeah, and I Like remember... family. Yeah, and I remember we were... We were <laughs> so we were hanging out with your, your friend. Mm-hmm. And her husband. Yep. And we had acapurria. Acapurrias. Acapurrias. Mm-hmm. We had acapurrias. Acapurrias. Ay, que rico, puñeta. So good. I love it. 
What? No, I said it's really good. Okay, go ahead. Wait, but you said who's? No, no, no. That's a Puerto Rican expression. Go ahead. What's the expression? Que rico puñeta. What does that mean? I'm not Puerto Rican. I don't know how to explain it. But it's just, it's so good. Wait. It's it's like saying, que rico, coño. So good. Fuck. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Got it. Mm-hmm. How do you say it again? Que rico, puñeta. Yeah, that guy told me that too. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Yeah, the did. chef, when he was describing mofongo, he said that like que five times. Puñeta. I think the guy was in a poll. Yes, he was. No, 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 he wasn't. He wasn't. He was just very Puerto Rican. No, I, I was. I was just making fun of him. No, he wasn't. Okay, um, mm-hmm. he was. But like, I. Um, the whole story was that we were having dinner with my friend and her husband. Yeah, and we ordered agapurria. And yeah, so uh, thank you so much mm-hmm. for keeping us on track. He's here. forgetful. I'm not forgetful. Yeah, no, you. Are. I'm trying to tell the story. Okay. So we're. We're basically having dinner with uh, your friend and her husband, and we're we're eating. And then I was like, "Hey, man, there's this crazy thing at this hotel where there's this giant rat, and they're <laughs> blasting this music, and they're blasting salsa music, and they're basically talking about how the hotel is unjust and they're uh, not underpaying workers." And then he goes, "Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm." mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, did you hear about this?" And he goes. Yeah, I uh, represent the hotel. <laughs> and I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True story. Yeah. That was so funny. That was crazy. Yeah. Um. Also, I want to ask you something. How come you didn't want me to get a coconut? When? When we were in Puerto Rico. Like, I was trying to climb a tree. Oh, because he was trying to climb a tree. And we had, like, literally a vendor here selling coconuts. And he didn't want to buy it. He wanted to climb and get it. In the middle of a freaking hurricane because we were there when the hurricane started. Babe. Literally a patrol came and it was like disaster patrol, like natural disasters. And he wanted to climb a freaking coconut tree. Like, I'm not your mom. I was like, can you get down? Don't do that, please. And then the wave was like, here, come in. And I'm like, Paul, get down. Okay. Paul, let's go. We were not that close. <laughs> we were super close. We were right at the shore. Okay. But did we jump in the water? Yeah, we did. So we went in the water. That's okay. But to go higher, <laughs> to be safer, in and a enjoy coconut, a coconut tree? No, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. All right. Mm. Um, there was another thing I wanted to ask you. Uh huh. There was about Puerto Rico. There was about that. Um. Um. Oh yeah. So, uh, Ellie. Um. Do Venezuelans like scary movies? I would say. But you don't. No. Why would I pay to get, like, scared if I come from a very <laughs> scary <laughs> oh. country? Not, not a scary country, a scary situation itself. So I'm not, like, I'm about to, you know, enjoy life here in America. I'm not about that. Is Venezuela, uh, how is, uh, so in, in, in Venezuela, uh, you went to the movie theaters? Yeah. We're like a regular country. We have movie theaters. <laughs> right. I once told him we didn't have um, meters, parking meters, and he got shocked. So starting from that moment, he keeps asking me just like regular things like, do you guys go to um, this place called supermarket to get the food? (laughs) When did I ever say that? No, you haven't said that like literally, but you have said things like, oh, do you guys do this? Do you guys do that? And I'm like, yeah, we do. We're just like a regular country, just like in a very shitty situation. That's all. So yeah, we do have movie theaters. Of course, I've been to a movie theater many times. Um, so I mean, yeah, so we don't have parking meters, so the parking is not an issue for us. So there's no parking meters. No, you can park whatever the heck you want. Well, let me ask you something. What day is street cleaning? We don't have that. There's no street cleaning. No, bro, let's go. <laughs> no, you don't want to go. There. No, I'm trying to go, player. <laughs> Fuck. Listen, with the money I spend on parking tickets. I can use that money to buy a mansion. <laughs> yeah, in Venezuela, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can have a great life. In Puerto Cabello. Ah, in Puerto Cabello. Nice. That's my um, hometown, which I love and I miss. It's a small beach town. I love it. It's great. 
Well, they let me climb trees and get coconuts. Oh, yeah. They do it all the time. Oh, so I could climb a tree there? Yeah. But I just can't climb a tree in. Puerto Rico? No. What if you get injured? What are you going to go? Babe, if I get injured... And then let's say you get injured and you get injured like in your ear. And then you have to call a... Otorrino <laughs> Lalingologo. <laughs> exactly. And then the whole situation is going to be too like hectic. Because number one, you don't even know how to say the name of the doctor you need. That's true. In Spanish. <laughs> I'll just say... Number two, they're going to charge the same amount of money they would charge here in an American, you know, like U.S., like California hospital. So I didn't want you to get injured. That was pretty much it. Okay. Um, fair enough. Yeah, I think that was a good point. Also, you're not my kid. Why would I need to be like yelling at you like, hey, come down. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah, that 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 is uh true. I want I want to send you uh two more words. Okay. All right. Here we go again. All right, so Ellie, I just sent you two more words. And uh what's the first word? Sprite. Sprite. And how do Spanish speakers say it? Sprite. <laughs> Sprite. Is that true? <laughs> it's funny cuz we also we also say sp spray. The same way, so we say Sprite. <laughs> so what if you were to say, can I get a spray of Sprite? Me puedes echar un spray de Sprite. <laughs> it's the same, yeah, it's the same. Okay, and how would you, and what's the uh, second word? The second word is um, escape. And Escape. Like, <laughs> That's the right way to go. Like, how would you say, escape. how would you say scapegoat? What is that? Scapegoat. Uh, that? <laughs> what? Scapegoat. That's not even a thing. What do you mean? Scapegoat. Scape what? Scapegoat. And goat the animal? What are you saying? Just repeat after me. <laughs> Ellie? My brain. <laughs> Okay. Um, scapegoat. In English? You want me to say it in English or you want me to translate it to Spanish? Scapegoat. Scapegoat. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean? Just say the scapegoat? word. Scapegoat? What? Scapegoat? Scapegoat. You never heard the term scapegoat? No, never. Not even once in my life. Scapegoat is basically something you use to put the blame on something. Oh, echarle el muerto. Oh my God. I never knew that was a term. Echarle el muerto. We say in Spanish. <laughs> That's funny. Echarle el muerto is throw the dead body too. <laughs> what? Yeah. So like if I say like, oh, you did something wrong, but then you blame someone else for what you did. I say, oh, le echaste el muerto a... So you threw kind of like the, the corpse, like the dead body to. <laughs> what? The dead body? Sí, echarle el muerto. <laughs> okay. Tú siempre me echas el muerto a mí cuando te pasan cosas a ti. Siempre dices que es mi culpa. Uh, listen, I think you need parking meters. <laughs> and uh, uh, less dead bodies. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna send you. Uh, it's just an expression, but it's funny. I'm gonna send you. Uh, Let's see what else. All right, so Ellie, these are. So I'm gonna send you some names of some animals. And uh, <laughs> tell me, what's the first animal? The first animal is penguin. And how do Spanish speakers say it? Penguin. 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 No, penguin. <laughs> penguin. Penguin. Because in Spanish it's pinguino. Pinguino. Uh -huh. Pinguino. So, so penguin. <laughs> yeah, I would say. I like pinguino better. Yeah, penguin is better, of course. Anything in Spanish is better. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> how would you say give the penguin some Adidas? Ponle Adidas al pinguino. Adidas. Adidas. All right, what's the second? The second is squirrel. 
All right. What's the second S- word? Squirrel. Did I say it right? Squirrel. And how do Spanish speakers say? Squirrel. Squirrel. Because it's double R. Squirrel. 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 Did you call it a squirrel? My brain, I'm twitching. A squirrel. And the third is, um, that's easy, fish. How does it say Spanish speakers say it? Fish. No, how does it say it? Fish. Fish. Fish? Fish. Fish. No, fish. Yeah, I, no, because I've heard them say, Paul, you know, I, I uh, grab it the feet. A fish? You know, I grab it the feet, you know, I grab the feet, I do the feet, I put it, I... <laughs> Literally, pa. Hi. <laughs> Great. Um, let me see if there's anything else. I mean, we man, we covered a lot. We covered a lot. Um. Uh, I do want to just mention one thing. Mm-hmm. You had your final exams last month. Yeah. Yeah, I did. And we were studying together yeah so it was my first experience ever like having finals in an american like educational institute um it was pretty tough man i, I don't know how people do it well i actually know they take adderall we don't but yeah it, it was crazy yeah i think adderall is a performance enhancing drug yeah we don't have such a thing but i also think that if like performance enhancing drugs like people take championships away from athletes for mm-hmm. taking steroids. Like, I mm-hmm. think we should take degrees away from doctors. <laughs> you would be taking half of America's, of America's, like, doctoral degrees. Yeah, it's say. not fair. And it's like, you know, like, an athlete is, like, taking steroids. and it's I like, don't think it's a matter of being fair or unfair. Because you're putting the effort in anyways. It's just, like, it's making your cognitive level a little bit more sharp. Um. Also, like, the reason I bring that up is because... You were uh, studying for the exams, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it was stressful, rightfully so. And we went to Starbucks. Star- Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks. Yeah, we went to Starbucks. Uh huh. And I was helping you study, mm-hmm. and we thought of some words mm-hmm. to help you memorize. Oh yeah, we did. Do you remember that? Mnemonics. Yeah, floors and A B C. What else? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember the rest. Oh, you don't remember? No, I just remember Florzen. Florzen. Yeah. And what does Florzen stand for? I don't remember anymore, so the mnemonics didn't work. <laughs> Go get me some Addies. <laughs> Addies? Wow. Hi. Amor. What an amazing time. Good Hold job. On. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go yeah, over you. that's better. I'm going to grab you. Babe, uh, I love you. I love you, too. This is great. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. Oh, thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, he owes me money. <laughs> I'm a superstar now. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, well, listen, I don't know how long we're going to do these, but um, we are, you know, inshallah, going to make some more. No, we're having a great time. We're having a great time, especially the way you just said that. <laughs> we're having a great time. This is this is so cool. I love recording these no. <laughs> dumb videos with these gringo. I never said that. This gringo to my to my izquierda. <laughs> izquierda. First of all, you're on my right, derecha. Derecha. <laughs> yeah, he's American too. He's like, what? Amazing, Ellie. I love you. Uh, listen, y'all. Thanks for listening. Peace. Thank you.